Project themes in Campfire allow you to customize the style of your projects and write and explore by changing images, colors, fonts, and more so you can set the mood for your story. You can choose from a selection of preloaded themes or create your own to start editing it. You must be logged in to access Campfire's theme editor. Once you've done that, open your account menu and select Project Themes. You can also access this page from anywhere in your account settings menu using the left sidebar. The theme editor is divided into four sections. First up, we have the color palette. These are the main colors you'll see on the project theme, applied to backgrounds and used as highlights. The text and icon color section allows you to choose the color of text and icons placed on various backgrounds. When selecting these colors, be mindful of how they will appear on your primary color palette. Next, you'll want to choose your typefaces and styles. You can update your header, body, and button text styles to personalize your theme. Finally, you can add theme images. These will override background and surface colors where applicable. Note the recommended image sizes provided in the theme editor. When you make any changes, you have a handy preview off to the right hand side here to see how things look as you edit your theme. Before creating a theme, you'll want to pick out your theme's color palette and perhaps an image or two. You don't need to worry about being a perfect graphic artist or illustrator or knowing which colors go together in a visually appealing way. There are several free resources online to choose color palettes and images to use in your themes. To create a color palette or choose from pre-made options, check out websites like Canva, Color Hunt, Coolers, or Adobe's Color Wheel, all linked in the description for quick reference. As for images, Campfire has integrated with Unsplash to bring you one of the most popular resources for finding royalty-free images. You can easily search by topic or keyword using Unsplash's extensive library of high-quality images all from your image gallery. Other well-known sources for royalty-free, public domain, and open access images include websites like Pexels, Pixabay, RawPixel, and Wikimedia Commons, all of which are also linked in the description below. With the color palette and any images or graphics you are going to use picked out, it's time to create your campfire theme. First. Navigate to your project themes by clicking on your profile icon from any screen on Campfire. From here, click New Theme to create a new theme slot in your list of themes below. You'll know you're on the right theme if it's highlighted. You can also name your theme at this stage by clicking View More to the right of the theme and selecting Rename Theme. Once in the theme editor, it's time to get started with editing your color palette and typefaces. You can choose any colors for text, icons, buttons, panels, and your project background, but be sure they have high enough contrast. It can be hard to read text when you have a light color on a light background, a dark color on a dark background, or even really bold colors on bold backgrounds, as just a few examples. You can also choose fonts for headings, body, and button text. When picking these, remember to choose readable fonts. Fancy fonts are perfectly fine for headings, but can be hard to read when selected as body or button text. Try to select standard fonts, like EB Garamond or PT Sans when choosing your body text at a minimum. When you selected your color palette and fonts, you can choose to add surface and background images. The background image will appear behind all project elements, like panels, and the surface image will appear in your module navigation menu and on element panels. If any images you upload are overly complex, they may also make any text too hard to read, so keep this in mind. After choosing your color palette, selecting your typefaces, and picking out an image or two, do a final check on your theme. If you add images after choosing a color palette, you may decide that certain colors no longer fit. If so, it's okay to go back and change your colors to better fit your overall theme and to make sure everything is easy to read. Just a note, you may decide to choose your images first, if you have them at all, then develop a color palette and select your fonts from there. 
Do whatever works best for you and your project. Don't forget to save your theme. You can either save it as is if editing an existing theme or save it as a new theme, whether you're creating a brand new theme or saving an altered copy of an existing one. Finally, remember to give your theme a name. Navigate back to the main project themes page of your account settings and select the more button to do so. You can also generate a theme code here for sharing. Now you're ready to see your theme live. Go to your project dashboard, select the view tab in the top navigation bar and click manage themes. Choose your theme and marvel at the cool thing you just made. But if you find yourself in doubt when creating a theme, that's okay. Campfire comes with several preloaded themes for you to try out or edit as well. You can find these already listed in your library of project themes. If you happen to delete a preloaded theme and want it back, we have the corresponding codes listed in the description. Simply copy and paste the one you need and go to your account's project themes page where all your themes are listed. Click new theme and select import theme. Paste the code below into the box that appears and you'll get that theme back. You can also use theme importing to import themes that your friends made or that you found through the campfire community. Grab your project's theme code by clicking on the More button to the right of the theme's name and selecting Copy Theme Code. And that's it for themes. Now your project has an awesome new theme you can use to express yourself and your story. Our team is constantly working to update Campfire, so in time there may be some adjustments to what you've seen in this video. If that's the case, we'll make sure to update that in the description as well as in the written guide on our blog where you can find even more tutorials and other cool articles. If you have any questions about Campfire, you can leave a comment or reach out to us on social media. Thanks for watching.